Hi friends, and welcome back to the Mickey Bunch. We're continuing our epic girls trip across America. Today we're in Tucumcari, New Mexico, historic Route 66. We're going to be looking at some awesome of the vintage kind of motels, the beautiful murals throughout town, and uh, I'm super excited. It is one of the stretches of Route 66 that inspired the movie Cars. So, <laughs> well, come along with us and let's see what kind of 66 cool things we can find. From Route 66 memorabilia to dinosaurs to larger than life-size murals, Tucumcari offers something for everyone. And a must stop is always the infamous Blue Swallow Motel. The Blue Swallow has been serving travelers along the Mother Road since 1939. And today, guests enjoy a pleasant reminder of what it was like to travel across the United States of America in the good old days. The Blue Swallow Court in Tucumcari, New Mexico is a 12-unit L-shaped motel listed on the National Register of Historic Places in New Mexico as part of Historic U.S. Route 66. Original architectural features include a facade with pink stucco walls decorated with shell designs and a stepped parapet on-site office and manager's residence as well as garages located between the sleeping units for travelers to park their motor cars. It is one of the longest continuously operated motels along New Mexico's slice of Route 66. The Blue Swallow Motel property was updated with neon signage in the 1950s proclaiming TV and 100% refrigerated air. Lillian Redmond owned the Blue Swallow from 1958 through 1998 and made sure that in each room for each traveler was a printed copy of her benediction. Here's what it said. Greetings, traveler. In ancient times, there was a prayer for the stranger within our gates. Because this motel is a human institution to serve people and not solely a money-making organization, we hope that God will grant you peace and rest while you are under our roof. May this room and motel be your second home. May those you love be near you in thoughts and dreams. Even though we may not get to know you, we hope that you will be as comfortable and happy as if you were in your own house. May the business that brought you this way prosper. May every call you make and every message you receive add to your joy. When you leave, may your journey be safe. We are all travelers. From birth till death, we travel between the eternities. May these days be pleasant for you, profitable for society, helpful for those you meet, and a joy to those you know and love best. Sincerely yours, Lillian Redmond, owner of the Blue Swallow Motel. We are not horsing around with our next stop to the Palomino Motel. The Palomino opened in 1953, and we were so blessed to meet Lila, the manager, who offered to show us the latest mural. Oh, good job. Oh. She was opened to what she was an art teacher here, and it was her very first mural. And she was so scared. And I told her, I said, look, if it don't come out, We'll paint over it. Oh, it's right. It's just paint, right? Oh, my goodness. That came out fantastic. It was our first one. Wow. Now, why'd you choose Billy the Kid? A lot of history. Yeah, this is a railroad town back in the 1900s. Oh, I love it. And they're claiming that he was up in Las Vegas and Fort Sumner. But there's also a thing that they did some treasure in one of these little mountains around here. So he had to have been here. Oh, has anybody found the treasure yet? They say no. 
Wow. It's all bad. I guess we'll have to start looking. <laughs> Like many motels of the time, the Palomino was built in the typical U-shape with a separate building serving as the main office. Besides air conditioning, other amenities included tile, tub, and shower combos, a phone in every room, and being able to see Mountain Tucumcari from your doorstep. I appreciate these so much. Awesome. Thank you. Well, I want you to have a menu roll Next to the Palomino is a really neat restored Texaco gas station, complete with vintage style gas pumps. This vintage Texaco gas station was reborn to look like the original Gus's Texaco. It once was, with the addition of several murals featuring Route 66 shield and retro vehicles. It's now a gift shop and trade station. I think those guys have been there a while. Wow. The old Leatherwood Manor Motel is now the Roadrunner Lodge. It was built in 1964. It had an amazing neon sign, now gone. Its gabled roofs have survived, but its heated pool has been filled in. The rooms have recently been renovated and I had a fantastic stay there a few years ago. I definitely recommend it. One of the most iconic buildings along Route 66 has to be TP Curios. The TP Curios is one of the only remaining curio shops in New Mexico. TP Curios has everything souvenirs. We had so much fun there from Route 66 items New Mexico, pottery, t-shirts, Native American jewelry, postcards, signs, and so much more. The TP Curios is one of the only remaining curio shops in New Mexico. It started out as a gas station and grocery store in the 1940s when Route 66 was only two lanes. They lost their gas pumps with the widening of the road in 1959. That's also when they added the TP entrance. I've been blessed to be at the TP Curio Shop a few times in the last decade or so, and every time the people that are working there are so welcoming, they ask you where you're from, they're really open to you asking them questions about the history. It's just a very, very fun time. In addition to the fantastic murals that you can see at the TP during the day, you'll definitely want to check out their neon at night. 
they leave the lights on for all of us to enjoy and they say they welcome photographers. They also welcome locals, tourists, motorcycle groups, and bus tours. Long live Route 66. Our next stop is the famous Motel Safari. It was built in 1959 by Chester Doer, a developer from Chicago, using an architectural style known today as googie or doo-wop. Guests still gather on the patio under the neon in the evenings and share their travel stories of the day. I love the murals of vintage billboard ads in the patio area. Artwork from the local area's history are in each of the guest rooms, as well as old postcard prints of motels that no longer exist in town. Most of the furniture in each room are original mid-century modern pieces from the day the motel was built and were custom made. The Sahara has several wall murals that have been added by local artists, including Elvis arriving in a 1959 Cadillac on the outside wall of the front drive, another behind the front office of a 1950s fixable clipper Santa Fe Trailways tour bus, vintage billboard ads again in the patio area, and their latest mural pays tribute to the Mother Road. The Americana Motel was originally the 1935 State Motor Lodge. It is a typical U-shaped building with an office in the middle of the U. Originally, there were garages between the rooms. <laughs> wow. My life is literally off the line right now. Please, please stop. <laughs> the Buckaroo Motel was built on the west side of Tupankari in the late 1950s. The motel has grown over the years, having started with 10 units and adding more as time went on. I'm a golden dragon. Therefore, the best place that is in Luxembourg. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> Lights are not good on camera. I really just said if this person follow us, follows <laughs> us on this next turn, we're about to be murdered. And guess where they are? Following oh god, us. if they follow us again. <laughs> I'm laughing. This isn't going to be a good picture. No. Well, I think 
my chin is in it. <laughs> I hope it is. Thank you for coming along with Kennedy and I on our epic <laughs> road trip across America. We had so much fun in Tucumcari. It is really just a blast from the past. I have put links down below to different Route 66 travel websites and history websites, as well as links to the hotels that we visited. So you'll definitely want to check that out. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. And the notification bell so you don't miss anything the Mickey Bunch, any of our road trip, or anything Disney. Thanks again for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we can't wait to see you again soon. Bye-bye.